so we will continue with the second part of this quadratic equation okay slope we have done solutions using graph video is not required we are going to the assignments if we have done okay i think this people have already discussed even that parabolic thing is there in physics also you might have read in 11 12 projectile motion concept is at this peak at this peak slope will be zero dy by dx equal to zero we can differentiate that was dy by dx this is dt okay time of right angle find the roots of the quadratic equation okay find the roots two real roots if uh, we can do in graph directly we can calculate without calculating normally we can't say it right we have to find it out find the roots already i taught you na, the graphical way how to find out one real root two real root or no real root so you can use that method and at the end of this video we will give you a second method that is called as Sri Dharacharya's method determinant one then e4 okay let us come to the next slides if something is there okay now the tough concepts are over now simple algebra people will be using now how to solve solve means how to find the roots normally we have seen by graphs and all now in real life every time we cannot make graphs right tough graphs will be there we can't make it and we don't even know how to make the graphs because we won't be getting online decimals calculated there so there are many methods the first method is by factoring it so if we are able to factor in this form then p and q will be called as what maybe the roots the real roots and actually this p and q are the x intercepts we can see for example a quality equation actually final form is like that only x square plus bx square plus c if we multiply it but we will break it into this form if possible by algebraic rules and form this type of equation and this form is called intercept form in quadratic equation in quadratic function okay with p and q are this 0 to red line p and 0 to this p and q okay these are the intercept there we had studied now y y here these are the intercept this and this full see graph of y equal to 3 x minus 1 see we can see here 1 and 5 this is 1 this is 5 this is 1 this is 5 this is 1 this is 5 okay simply so 1 and 5 we can see here intersecting so these are the two real roots possible how will you convert the intercept form into standard form okay so i'm not going to delve deeper into all this thing these are the easiest part you can do it okay foil method is there simple thing by factorization what is happening or not next slide completing the square this is also one of the method for example if uh, you have a quality equation like if square plus 10x minus 24 equal to 0 what are the roots so you can check it by adding 25 on both the sides you are getting here 7 square so a plus b whole square square you are doing square root of both the sides x plus 5 equal to plus minus 7 so once when you consider plus 7 then you are getting x equal to 2 when you are considering minus 7 you are getting x equal to minus 12 so these are two are the real roots formed simple this is method by completing square that was by factorizing factoring any other method okay irrational roots yeah this was the Sridharan formula how many slides are left okay let us come back to this slide quadratic equations with irrational roots always it should not be rational right for example if this is the quadratic equation we can see we can factorize it like this x minus 2 whole square equal to 32 square rooting both side x minus 2 equal to plus minus 4 root 2 so we can see clearly here x equal to 2 plus 4 root 2 is 1 root 2 minus 4 root 2 is another root we can also see here see 2 
plus something 2 minus something you know what will happen it will be less than that okay quadratic formula yeah this is what we were waiting for this is also known as Sridharacharya's rule which you have studied in like class 9 10 maybe so let us see this is the quadratic equation everybody knows a x square plus bx plus a general form dividing by a on both the sides second line will come then then what adding b square by 4 square on both the sides then we are making it into square just trying to mold it model it so that we can let it do the square root so finally in this form when we calculate it we find x is equal to minus b by 2a plus minus b square minus 4ac by 2a or we can also see like this see direct if we do it x equal to minus b plus minus b square minus 4ac by 2a okay same thing broken see what is this called what is this called minus b square minus 4ac square root it is called as discriminant minus b square minus 4ac by 2a hold on okay so any quadratic equation is there given without thinking you can put into this formula x equal to this just you know what is b what is a you put it and then the values will come whatever it may be easy hard bad good so finally here one conclusion is there you can delve deeper into this think about this maybe we will teach later after your exam how it is possible see when b square minus 4ac is greater than 0 only this one b square minus 4ac then we are getting two real roots you can see here also when it is positive when this is positive okay this term the square root will be positive something will come so it will be real when it is negative when it is less than 0 roots will be 0 when it is equal to 0 it will be 1 think about this thing why it will be 1 why less than 0 equal to 0 okay it is your homework to do it summary of the quadratic formula same thing b square minus uh, 4ac perfect square then it will become something positive two real roots rational roots greater than zero but not a perfect square two real roots irrational as we have seen before two real will be there but it will be irrational equal to zero means it will just touch it just touch it what is this written in yellow consider this number b square minus 4ac less than zero if d is less than zero then no real root okay so either by the first method what we have taught or by this method you can find okay two methods you can use it or the factorization method example find the value of the discriminant and then describe the number and type of it. simple find d d is b square minus 4 ac find what is the value positive negative and conclude it that is the answer axis of symmetry why why it is axis of symmetry i have said you already i'm not going to teach you again summary they have told you so many method first one we have taught you it was graphic method okay which, uh, when preferred best when we can use to verify the answer found algebra algebraically yeah actually graphing method is not always useful because you guys don't know what will be the real graph of that for example these are the easy things and if you would have business in your exam center then you can do any graph any big big graphs you will put and directly you will be able to find the answer but in real life you will do the mistake you don't know where will be this coming where will the what be shifting can we shift here no we are not able to shift so in real life you won't be able to do it so this factoring method completely in the square method and something is not visible here so those methods has to be used okay factorizing in the square or the last one discriminant method discriminant method that is the best actually okay so let us see the second slide 
factoring okay we have done this okay it is over I'm getting the square yeah already done already done okay this is the end of the syllabus okay let us see some questions let us come at the last quadratic formula video assignment wait wait quadratic formula has two distinct rules you can find out d value of d from the sign greater than zero equal to zero less than zero you can do it d is what you know two different quality question have same discriminant then choose the correct option think about it and do it yourself what will be the roots of the equation b you can find the d and you can tell this this to this means real you want to determine multiple select question which of the following gives distinct real roots just find the d of each of them any shortcut method 69 56 69 for 60 factorize something can be done i see something check it out nature of the roots of the quadratic equation can be determined by nature of the roots graphical quadratic formula computing the square method nice question theoretical question actually this is try it out then going back what should be added in px to make it perfect square try it out easy question last eight nine question choose the correct option regarding this yeah i need to be solved okay we check it so many things has to be done i cannot solve it here choose the correct option regarding this which of the following is that true by completing square the thing is why i am saying this question whatever i have taught with those concepts will you be able to solve or not that is what i am saying already you people have solved it few people will be requiring revision that is what i am checking it out if something will be missing i will teach the concept my aim is to teach the concept not giving the solutions but i will give the hint which of the following is a true again same you have to use that that thing only so you should get it on both the other equation okay all the concepts are covering mm -hmm. choose the correct standard form choose the correct option y equal to in that form intercept form x minus minus 2 b plus 6 okay that is the intercept form that is the hint for you incorrect option with a positive any more slides are left no so i hope you enjoyed our sessions and uh, as a feedback we would like so many comments as well as if you like the video just click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe we want to see more likes it gives us motivation to us so that we can do the next lectures also right we are here to help you out and if you dislike do the dislike button we just need to know the feedbacks honest feedbacks from all of you thank you for watching us have a great day